Amber Express right now, the top stories we're following for as you get ready to start your Thursday. State police have made an arrest in connection with a deadly hit and run that shut down part of Route 50 in the town of Boston yesterday. Now, police say 37 year old Gary Lucas of Schenectady was heading north on 50 when he hit 47 year old Meredith Hamilton of Boston Spa. Lucas was found and charged with leaving the scene of an accident without reporting it. Police say there is no indication he was impaired at the time of the crash. Happening today, full uh, Amtrak service resumes between Albany and New York City. Uh, the train trouble for travelers started on Sunday after there were safety concerns with the parking garage down in New York City, which those tracks run right underneath. There were some holes in the floor. It's getting worked on. A single track in and out of Penn Station will be operating today and tomorrow. They hope to have both back open by Saturday. The process of choosing a new mascot is almost over for one local school district, the Fonda Fultonville Central School District, holding its final vote yesterday. Students and community members had five options to choose from, Hawks, Ravens, Pioneers, Rockets, and Valley Hawks. The district plans to unveil the winner early next week. Change will take effect at the start of the next school year. Well, for the first time in a decade, enrollment at SUNY schools across the state is up year over year. The new numbers were announced during a SUNY Board of Trustees meeting. First time undergraduate enrollment across all SUNY schools is up more than 4%. In the technology sector, they're seeing 13% student growth. A week away from the Troy Turkey Trot now. Thanksgiving is next week. There will be changes to this year's race. 5K will have a new course, which starts at the corner of Fulton and 4th Streets and goes over the Green Island Bridge before heading up River Street. The race finishes up at Monument Square. More than 4,500 people have signed up so far, and that's 450 more than last year, so a huge turnout. Be a big day.